Hello, I'm Kent Morgan. The short video which follows is one lesson taken from a catalog of short instructional videos about using the Apple Macintosh and its applications. This particular lesson demonstrates several ways to change the viewing size of windows and fonts. With the new high resolution screens and the resulting small print, this lesson will help you adjust the size of the images to your own viewing preferences. Customizing your Mac is simple and easy to do, so let's get started. First, we're going to start with Apple Systems Preferences. We're going to go up and click on the Apple and choose System Preferences. Then we're going to go down to the section where it says Universal Access. The changes I make here will affect everything on the computer screen. So we're going to be under the tab for Seeing and we've already uh, turned on Zoom. You can also turn it on and off from the keyboard when this window is not open by just pressing the Option Command 8 key and it turns it on or it turns it off. Once you're on, uh, once you uh, have this turned on and you want to zoom in, you hold down the Option Command and you press the equal sign and that zooms the screen up. This allows you to move around and look at other parts of the screen, but it's enlarged. To zoom out, you simply hold down the Option Command key and this time press minus. If you wish, you can go to the Options section and you can customize this even further by reading through this list and you can adjust even the modifier keys that are used to control it. So I'm going to click on Done and I'm going to close this screen, or actually I'm going to click on Show All. Now I'm going to show you another way that you can adjust it using the mouse. This time instead of going to Universal Access, we're going to click on the mouse and you'll notice there's a screen zoom option here as well. When this is turned on and currently the option is set for uh, using the command key with the center button so all I do is I hold on the command key and I slide my finger up just like it is in the demonstration picture or down to make it smaller. It's that easy. Now we're going to close this window and I'm going to go next to Safari. I'm going to launch Safari. Click on its icon. The screen opens up. This time I'm going to go up under Safari and I'm going to pick Preferences. Not under the Apple but under Safari Preferences. I'm going to click on Preferences and the screen opens up and you want to make sure that the tab for Appearance is clicked then you simply make the changes that you wish to make in this font size in this window here. When you're all done, close the window and you've changed the font sizes in that application. Next we're going to take a look at mail. Let's go down, let's close Safari first. And now we're going to launch mail. Window comes up, same exercise. We're going to go up under mail and pick mail in the preferences there. And now you want to make sure that the window that's open is fonts and colors. And each of the major categories, mailbox font, message font, so forth, you can make changes there. Click on the uh, box that you want to change and you can pick the font size changes over here. It's that simple. I'm going to close this and we're going to quit mail. And this time I'm going to make one other type of change and for this we're going to go back to Systems Preferences. I'm going to click on that. This time, instead of going to Universal Access or the mouse, as we did a minute ago, we're going to go over here to Displays. In Displays, you can change the resolution size of the screen. And by doing so, you make the screen larger or smaller. Before I demonstrate that, let's go down and look at the bottom of this box. There's a little checkbox here, Show Displays in the Menu Bar. What that does is it puts a little window right up here in your menu bar so that you can simply click on that instead of having to go in and launch the preferences. So let's close preferences. Let's go up and show you what that display looks like. We click on the display and open it up and you have choices here and on different computers there will be different sizes and choices but I'm not able to demonstrate in this screen flow demonstration what it actually looks like but uh, experiment with this on your own and you'll be able to see that you can actually make your screen quite readable by picking a lower resolution. All of the applications that you have in your computer, they all operate in basically the same way. They all have a preferences section unique to that 
particular application as we do with the finder <clears throat> and all you have to do is choose it and modify it to suit your tastes. I hope this video has been helpful and that you've enjoyed watching and listening to it. Thank you.